<laughs> Do you really have to smoke that thing? I mean, couldn't you just mime? I can mime smoking. I can't mime smoke. That's a cut. I wonder, would it be possible to have some knitting? My hands are aching for something to do, and it seems so right for the character. Props. Yeah, I'll try and find some knitting. Walter, a word. I fully understand the national importance of what we're shooting, and obviously there's no question of, of diluting the message. I just wonder if it, if it might not pack a little more punch if, if Mr. Brown were to express a little more. For example, at the mention of the clever code, I might say, well, that'll be the first clever thing April's ever done in her life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? So just, a, just, a, just a dash of, 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 of humour and then further Excuse along. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Oh, certainly. We should be home home. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It, it's just that the caption at the end's going to be, he's not listening, but the enemy might be. It's a joke for women who think their husbands never pay attention. So if you start answering her, well, the caption won't make sense. I wrote it, the scenario. I'll be in my dressing room, if anyone needs me. <clears throat> Everybody take ten. Save the lights. Banished from the set. What in God's name possessed you? The actor was ruining the script. Of course he was. He's an actor. What's this? Penance. Hello, Mabel. How's baby? He's coming along splendidly. 